In this lecture, we will see the types of defects and failures. What you need to remember is which defect belongs to which testing level. The learning objective here is to compare the different test levels from the perspective of defects and failures. The first testing level is component testing. The type of defect we find here is incorrect functionality, data flow problem, and incorrect code and logic. First of all, you need to know in component testing code is available to the tester and they apply the white box testing technique to it, which we will cover in detail in chapter 4. Let's now see an example to understand it. Suppose this is the piece of code provided for component testing. We can use some of the white box techniques, such as statement coverage or decision coverage, to test it. To do that, we can draw the flowchart. Since the code is available, by analyzing this, we can find if the implementation is done as per the specification or not. If not, it will result in incorrect functionality. If the flow with the logic is not as expected, then we will find data flow problem. And if these decisions are wrongly implemented, then we will detect incorrect code and logic. Remember, correct functionality, data flow problems, and incorrect code and logic defects are an example of component testing. Let's move to the component integration testing. The first type of defect is incorrect data, missing data, or incorrect data encoding. Since during integration testing, data is transferred from one module to another module. Therefore, while performing integration testing, we can find incorrect data, missing data, or incorrect data encoding. Let's see an example. Suppose there are two modules where one module is sending data in the character form whereas other is expecting data in integer form. Then while performing testing, we can find incorrect data-related defects. Next is incorrect sequence or timing of interface calls. Let's understand this with the help of an example. These are the two modules for integration testing. Here, one module is sending data in 100 milliseconds, whereas other is accepting data in 10 milliseconds, and vice versa. Here, the data will be lost since timing is different, and we can find such errors during integration testing. Next is interface mismatch. Let's have a look into the example. Again, we have two modules where one module is sending three data, but another module is only accepting two data. In this case, communication will fail. The next defect is communication between components or unhandled or improperly handled communication failures between components that we saw in our last example. How miscommunication can happen between interfaces. The last one is incorrect assumptions about the meaning, units, or boundaries of the data being passed between components. As we saw in our first example, where one module was expecting character value, whereas others were looking for integer values. These are the six defects that can be found during integration testing, incorrect data, missing data, or incorrect data encoding, incorrect sequencing, or timing of interface calls, interface mismatch, failures in communication between components, unhandled or improperly handled communication failures between components, incorrect assumptions about the meaning, units, or boundaries of the data being passed between components. The next level is system integration testing. The defects found here are similar to what we saw in component integration testing. 
but here we get those defects at system level. Consistent message structures between systems, incorrect data, missing data, or incorrect data encoding, interface mismatch, failures in communication between systems, unhandled or improperly handled communication failures between systems, incorrect assumptions about the meaning, units, or boundaries of the data being passed between systems, failure to comply with mandatory security regulations. Now let's see the example of defects of system testing. First one is an incorrect calculation. As we now know in system testing, we provide input to the system and compare the output. For example, if the calculator is our system, then if we give 4 and 6 as input to the system, and if it calculates 11 as the output, then we can say the system is calculating wrong. The next is incorrect or unexpected system functional or non-functional behavior. If we see this example again, we expect this system to give 10 as output. But if the output is 11, then we can say the system is not functioning as expected. Therefore, incorrect or unexpected system functional or non-functional behavior is an example of system testing. The next is incorrect control or data flows within the system. If the data flow related issue is not found in the previous testing level, then these types of issues can be found in the system testing. Next is failure to properly and completely carry out end-to-end -end functional tasks. Since we provide input to the system and check the output, with system testing we perform end-to-end -end testing. Next is failure of the system to work properly in the system environment. During system testing, we test the complete system, so we can find out if the complete system is not working properly in the system environment. The last one is failure of the system to work as described in system and user manuals. This point is similar to the first point, where we saw the incorrect calculation. So these are the six defects that can be found during system testing. Incorrect calculations, incorrect or unexpected system functional or non-functional behavior, incorrect control or data flows within the system, failure to properly and completely carry out end-to-end -end functional tasks, failure of the system to work properly in the system environment, failure of the system to work as described in system and user manuals. Let's now have a look into the defects of acceptance testing. The first defect is system workflows do not meet business or user requirements. Now, if you notice in acceptance testing, we focus on business requirements. In acceptance testing, we check built system is as per the business rules or not. All the points we will discuss here will be related to business requirements or standards. The second example is also similar. Business rules are not implemented correctly. The third example is the system does not satisfy contractual or regulatory requirements. Since the complete system is now available, we can check if it's built as per the contract or meets the regulatory requirements. As said, now the complete system is available and it is tested from the user point of view. Therefore, we can check the non-functional failures such as security vulnerabilities, inadequate performance efficiency under high loads. And the last one is improper operation on a supported platform. Developed system or application will be tested on the supported platform, and then we can find if the system is still working fine or not. So these were the examples of defects which we can find during acceptance testing. System workflows 
do not meet business or user requirements. Business rules are not implemented correctly. System does not satisfy contractual or regulatory requirements. Non-functional failures such as security vulnerabilities, inadequate performance efficiency under high loads, and improper operation on a supported platform.